Hi everyone, Jonathan Silva here. Welcome back to another video as we take a look at Power BI. For this one, we are focusing on one of the great new features that's come out, one of the most recent updates for Power BI, and that is conditional formatting. Well, not just regular conditional formatting, but conditional formatting on data labels. That's right, now we can put conditional formatting just about everywhere we look inside of Power BI, including data labels. So let's get right into it, open up a Power BI report and take a look at how we can start implementing these conditional formatting right away and how easy it is to get that process started. All right, so here we have a Power BI report all up ready to go. And I have two different visuals that we could take a look at. One of them here on the left, this visual that I have here, as you can tell, it's a line and clustered column chart where I have some data labels already being presented on the visual. In this case, if we take a look at our data labels, again, how we get there is over here on our visualization pane, we click on that little paintbrush to format our visual. We can slide on down here and take a look at the data labels that I have turned on. In this case, I've set the data label to only be on the line value, so that's my profit margin. But if you wanted to, you could also add it to everything else. You just turn it on for our sales amount, turn it on and off. In this case, I think I like it having it, you know, just one metric being able to show there. So I'm gonna focus on that one. And now when we look at our data label that we have here, again, with all other data labels, we know we can move the position to above or auto or under the line itself. I tend to stick with the above the line. I think it just looks a little bit nicer a lot of the time. We can do our label density in this case, but the focus of what we wanna talk about, not the density or the position, but the conditional formatting on it. Right now, you can see I have 12 point font. It's it bolded, I can put italicize if I want. I can change the color if I want, but I wanna focus right there. You see that little FX? Well, that lets us know that we have the ability to apply conditional formatting on these data labels. So just like we would do within the values themselves or with any of the labels on the outside or the, the title, we can now put it right inside here. So I'm gonna select this and make this quite a basic one and keep it pretty, pretty easy to work with. We're gonna keep this gradient style and keep the field based on our profit margin so the actual values that we have here. We could always change it to rules or field value and I'll take a look at that here in a little bit. But for this one, we're gonna keep it pretty basic. We have our maximum level. Maybe I wanna make this more of a green, right? Where we have the higher profit, a little bit more green, and maybe the red, I'll make an actual real red here for you know the lower value. And then also we can add in that middle color, that yellow there as well. So we can keep it pretty simple here within our conditional formatting, select okay, and there we have it, right? There's our, our formatting. Looks pretty good. Actually, it, it looks okay. Maybe it would be easier if I could see the values a little bit more. So to make that, we could just add in a background. So I'm gonna select our background here. We have it on right now, but it's 100% transparent. If I bump that down, there it is. It makes it a little bit easier. And maybe I can change that color a little bit darker in this case. I can come up here and make my font size a little bit larger, right? We're able to see the values a little bit more, right? So conditional formatting, in this case, really simple, really great to have that, that stat, that number just right in your face so it's really simple to see within that visual. Well, so that was a pre-built one there. Let's go ahead and do one from scratch. So I'm gonna come over here to our total profit by country visual you can notice that it's just a very basic stacked column chart. In this case, to prep this, I've come over here to my little paintbrush so we can format our visual. And I've simply added in for our columns just to select show all, right? If you select show all, you can just change the color. You can see I've just chosen a couple of the default colors here to, to change them up to make it a little bit nicer to see. Really basic there. You could also obviously add some conditional formatting here. It's all over the place now, which is so awesome from Power BI but we're focused here again on our data labels. I can turn them on right there. I can see my data label is pretty small. It's right up top there. I can decide where I want the data label outside end. Again, is usually where I like to put them anyway. Um, maybe we can make this a little bit larger font there and make it bold. Now it's kind of that gray color. We could always change it to have that static color. But again, we really wanna focus on that conditional formatting. Again, anywhere we see that FX icon, that allows us to add that conditional formatting. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. 
And here we could stick with that gradient style based on our total profit. Or if we wanted to, we can go into rules and say, if the total profit, that's the value we're focused on, is greater than or equal to whatever percent we want, then we, or, or the actual number instead of the percent, right? We can choose one of those millions if we like, then we can choose a rule to pick that specific color. And then we can continue to add in more rules or we can do it based on another field value if we wanted to maybe we wanted to do it on profit margin or sales amount any of those things we could do it like that but again to keep today pretty basic we're going to go back and do it and make it consistent to stay on that total profit whatever metric we have there just to be able to see that a little a little bit nicer and you know what why don't we try to match as much as we can color scheme wise to our other visual so we're not going to get perfect i didn't capture the rgb or the hex color there but we can get pretty darn close add a middle color maybe i'll make this green a little bit darker i think it was a little darker over there that looks a little bit there and we can just go ahead and select okay and it's it's that easy it's that quick to have that conditional formatting and again, just as we saw with our other visual, if you can't quite see all of the values so well, we can come over here and apply a background color, have it pop off the screen nice and big for us to really help us in this process, right? And again, when we think about looking at conditional formatting or visuals, keeping that five second rule in mind is always a, a, a best bet, right? Five seconds to understand what the visual is telling us to actually be able to consume that data to be able to move on to, to the next, you know, more important task of making decisions with the data. We don't want to make this very difficult to see. We want to make it as easy to read as possible. Having conditional formatting on these data labels just adds to that ability, makes your job easier, makes the, the life of the end viewer, either it's yourself or someone else, a lot easier as well. All right, well, thanks for joining me here today as we take a look at one of the crazy and great new features inside of Power BI. Again, we get conditional formatting everywhere now. It's really exciting to be able to make every single visual as uh, specified or as personal as we want with conditional formatting, with all the other color scales that we now get. Now having it here on data labels makes it that much better as well. Thanks again for joining me. Stick around for our next videos as we take a look at some of the amazing new features coming out each month with Power BI.